This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Meyer is reviewing its policies on ammunition and customers having firearms inside the stores. The announcement comes after Walmart and Kroger both asked customers to stop openly carrying guns in their stores in light of recent mass shootings. Earlier this week, Walmart announced it would stop selling ammunition for guns. A statement from the Meyer spokesperson says that they have made several changes to policies regarding ammunition, which includes raising the age of purchase. In light of recent events, we are evaluating our ammunition offerings as well as our policies regarding customers carrying firearms into our stores, the statement said. Throughout this process, we will continue to listen to our customers and do what is needed to ensure they feel safe while shopping in our stores. More car pedestrian crashes are happening in Lansing and police officers from the Lansing Police Department and Lansing Community College are gearing up to put in overtime in order to patrol the problem. According to the Michigan State Police's traffic crash reporting system, 145 pedestrians died last year in Michigan and over 1,800 were injured. The Office of Highway Safety and Planning did some research back in 2017 and noted that Lansing did have a, what they would consider a high proportion of accidents within the state, said Sergeant Don Porter of the Lansing Police Traffic and Special Event Unit. The findings prompted the agency to provide mobilization grants to police departments to pay for overtime expenses during pedestrian safety enforcement week. During this period, officers will be looking out for traffic violations that compromise pedestrian safety, illegal turns, ignoring stop signs, and pedestrians failing to yield are some of the offenses on the radar. Jaywalking or riding irrespective to the traffic laws, Sergeant Porter explained. What we'll do is we'll stop them and make contact with them and explain to them what they're doing wrong and what they should be doing right and to be in conformance with the laws, Sergeant Porter continued. You can drink beer, wine coolers, or even seltzer within fraternity houses at Michigan State University as long as you're over 21. But it's been about a year since fraternity houses on campus banned liquor from solo cups and bottles, which is something they aren't really mad about. I think it's a good thing, and I think that a lot of people since that came out a year ago have really changed their perspectives. You don't really need hard alcohol, President of Phi Kappa Psi Creighton Shepard said. Last October, the Interfraternity Council at Michigan State University voted unanimously to ban drinks at fraternities that are over 15% alcohol by volume. They opted to do this a year before the National Council's ban. As of September 1st th this year, hard alcohol is banned at all North American interfraternities across the United States, which is about 6,100 chapters. The ban does not affect sororities on campus because all types of alcohol are prohibited at their facilities. Derek Dobie's mayor of Jackson stated that I think that the council in putting the city clerk on probation wanted to make sure that we were empathetic, that we were disappointed, frustrated, and that we wanted to keep a close eye on matters within the city clerk's office. Mayor Dobie's and city council members are frustrated that the millages won't be on the November ballot. The council approved them in January, but the city didn't get the wording approved in time. We ran up against the deadline at which things had to be sent in to the county clerk at 4 p.m. and the language hadn't been approved by the attorney general or the governor, said Dobies. He says that part, it's partially because of a crucial vacancy. The gap we have in the, attorney, the city attorney's departure, I think, created the perfect storm. But the mayor says that there's plenty of blame to go around. I don't think that there is a single point of or person that's responsible, said Dobies. However, the clerk is the only person on probation for now. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on Fox47news.com.